What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Zeke 410 Champions Gaming. It is I, Zeke 410. And to, this is next video is basically to help out people who do free-to-play. All right, now, the last video was helping out pay-to-play people, basically covering getting the Shane O'Mac contracts for $9.99, then followed up by the Rhea bags at the end of the month when your Shane O'Mac runs out for $7.99 and doubling back up on the Daniel Bryan starter packs. Then... When it comes to the higher spenders, going for your uh, like your hundred dollar spend, getting your enhanced packs, getting your rush uh, your rush packs for your coins as well as your TP, and getting your enhanced packs for your to your class tokens, coins, faction bags, and more specifically. Okay, more specifically getting your cash, which you save to do the pulls for the superstars that you really want. Don't just go for superstars just because you have the cash as tempting as it is, but to get the superstars from the player's choice where the best available chances for the best superstars are at. But now we're going to cover this situation and also rainbow bags. Don't forget the rainbow bags to use for the cash. But right now we're going to cover this situation for free to play players. Who are superstars that you focus on? Who are superstars? stars that you go after. I covered this before in a beginner's advice uh, video, but we're going to do this uh, more brief and quick to the point. Here are some superstars. Right out of the free bag that you get every six hours, you got these superstars right here. We got Seth Rollins. Uh, we got Seth Rollins NXT. We got Roman Reigns uh, Powerhouse. And then we got John Cena. These three are the best ones to get out of here. But I'm also going to recommend this guy right here for farming. Now, what is farming? Farming is basically when you go through uh, like the LT tours, like I've recommended. You go through your LT tours, your Dean's Dailies, your um, class specific tours, your Royal Rumbles, uh, your special event tours. You basically go through these tours. Once you've cleared it on the normal and the hard, you keep going back and you get specific tokens. If you pay attention to the loot boxes, it'll pop up the specific items that you can get out of certain loot boxes. So you can basically keep grinding it out for a chance to get TP get more coins to uh, level up your superstars and get more tokens to enhance your superstars and one of the best things is one of the greatest um, superstars in here for farming is Ted DiBiase he's the farming god followed after him would have to be none other than IRS followed by him it would have to be Enzo and then after that there's other alternates such as I, I've learned that Striker Goldust is a is a great farmer uh, farmer using his power gems and I've also learned that um there's a chance that you could use to Undertaker with his immobile gems that get destroyed but another great uh, and Kalisto of course with the multiply gems but another great superstar that gets you started with farming is none other than Ambrose NXT because his finisher allows you to choose a certain amount of gems depending on how high you get him and uh, depending on trainers of course depending on the, what like where you, where you have him on the finisher he can destroy certain gems you get to choose those gems so when you hit that finisher you can destroy loot gems which will help further your progress until you're able to get a DBIC, a IRS or Enzo, a Kalisto a Striker Goldust um, or Undertaker um, these are the only times where I would say that under Undertaker and Striker Goldust are very useful. And the only time that I would even invest in that for like an alternative farming mechanic is once you've had like, a, even once you've pulled like a Balor or you have like a three star or like a, a got a three star Bray, then go ahead and invest in that. But other than that, stay away from it. But those are the best po uh, people out there. Honestly, the best people would have to be Seth and Roman. John is great for getting you started, but those two. NXT Rollins, Reigns are the best ones to go. Um, after that, you're going to go for your uh, you're going to go for your chips. Now, what I recommend for these chips is because this is can be done free. Basically, what's uh, what happens is you're going to go and do the LT tour, and you're going to do the LT tour every single day, grind it out. And whenever a blitz shit comes up, basically when it comes to blitzes, you can either complete them. But I personally feel that when you do blitzes, do it up to a certain point 
Get with the resources that you need and then quit because that way it saves you on health packs. It saves your superstars and it also helps the, the fluctuation of heals that go through your faction. But that's just me personally. But what you're going to do is for every 400 premium chips that you collect in here, you're basically going to get a pull. What I recommend for a lot of people, what they don't like to do, they once they get their resources, they like to spend them. One of the great things about learning about this game is that it is a very grind heavy game. So... If you stack up 12,000 premium chips, you'll be able to do a 30 pull. Now, because you're doing it for the for the chips and not the cash, you will not get that 16% off. So I have to make that clear. But at least by doing a 30 pull, it makes it worth it when you do your pulls. And so you also have a better chance of getting some superstars that you don't have or getting some super some duplicates, a much needed duplicates that help you spare your resources. So that's basically uh, when that, that's what that come to, comes down to. Next up after that, there's certain superstars that you're able to get from them premium chips. And so one of them is the Miz. The Miz is by far one of the best um, superstars for you to have a great trickster. He's very fast with his moves. I highly recommend going after him or hoping that you can get him. So then we got Stardust. Stardust is an alpha tier, alpha tier, alpha omega, beginning and end. Great, amazing champion. I have a gameplay video up about him. So check that out. But definitely a uh, a technician that is worth going for in those premium pools. Um, next up after that, like I said, Gold Dust is a very good, very good alternative farmer. If you don't have DiBiase, Enzo, IRS, Kalisto, very great because as you can see, he destroys two random power gems. But if you're able to set up those two that with that choose move, that DDT, once you're able to get that situated, and will once you're he's high enough, then you're able to destroy more loot gems. So if you clear the match early with a lot of health and you're able to get that green move and that black move decently with at least half health you'll end the end the game and you have a better chance of getting six loot boxes by the, him destroying his power gems so that's why i recommend gold dust he i will be doing a video on him so just be on the lookout for that um obviously bray wyatt is a god another god in here just like um stardust he gets the job done at three star bronze so that's definitely like i said make your pulls worth it don't just get 400 chips and see them and be like uh i don't like seeing that one in the loot just just let let's stack them up and make it worth your while you know get more bang for your buck um roman reigns like i said Go for Reigns. Reigns is definitely a, a, a wild card. Very versatile but move set. Seth Rollins NXT. Go for him. Uh, who else do we got in here? Kevin Owens is actually pretty good, so I recommend Owens too. Another guy, another guy that's in here. If you don't have, if you're not able to get Sheamus, and you're more than likely going to have a better chance at getting him here is gold dust like for the people who are able to pull gold dust <clears throat> for the people who are able to get gold dust uh, um and for the people who are able to get double a when that event was running for double a um that basically made gold dust like another god tier su superstar in my mind because if you get Seamus, I have my Seamus set up right now like this. Seamus has uh, um, double, uh, double A and Bret Hart on him. And that allows him to make a bunch of botch gems, which basically means that I'm able to get, like, basically the person's going to be able to get their uh, get their get their MP, but I'm not going to really suffer any damage from the botch gems that they choose. And with uh, as many botch gems as they use, I'm able to put, like, like 32 botch gems down right now with Seamus. And so... If I didn't have Sheamus, and to those who don't have Sheamus, but you do have Double A, and you sometimes do pull um, Bret Hart, definitely go ahead and bring up Gold Dust because Gold Dust will be killer, especially once he gets his three star move, which is a submission that makes more botch gems. With Double A and Bret Hart, he is ferocious, so keep him in mind. Definitely do not sleep on Gold Dust. Um, but. That's basically it for uh, from uh, off of this roster. Um, there's a couple other people that you can get. Um, ABA Taker, you can get from the premium pools. 
He's uh, he's good. Um, who else? I hate when they, they do that. They need to start fixing that for Scopely. Y'all need to keep that in mind. Jerry the King Lawler, another great superstar to pull. So there's a lot of people. Even I believe Bubba Ray. Bubba Ray is also like uh, I feel he's underrated and not appreciated because a lot of the superstars are in here and a lot of them are great with the right trainers, of course. But I feel that there's certain superstars because, you know, you have your Andre and your Enzo and now you got Bobby rude and now you have slick rick so you're not going to be thinking about bubba ray you know you get my pull bubba ray but you're more mad because you didn't get enzo but bubba ray can help you out for the time being um the same way with um like batista i feel batista's a great superstar but because you have cast because you have warrior because you have vader and luger you're then focused on getting them and which that is a good thing but if you end up getting a pull on batista and you know your pull luck isn't that good you know what take it where you can or go with reigns so that's what i'm like these this is why i'm showing you these superstars for free to play and pay to play because these are superstars that you're more than likely going to get before you get like your Balor or your AJ or your um, UF Seth. So these are like people that get, that are going to carry you through journeyman superstars, journeyman champions that are going to get you, hold you down until the big one hits. So that's, um, that was basically it. Um, I hope you find this useful. I'll run down the superstars again for free to play. And basically these are superstars you can get in the premium pools as well. Um, Seth NXT, um, Roman Reigns Powerhouse, Bray Wyatt Striker, Technician um, Stardust, Miz Trickster, um, John Cena, if you get him, like use him for a little bit, but don't max him all the way out. HBK is definitely great. He's basically ABA Undertaker. Use him. Uh, Basically, um, use Ambrose NXT in the beginning to do your farming to get your loot boxes. Star to um, Gold Dust the same way. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, literally, the, there's a few people, like, literally, like, when you're starting out, it's going to be limited. Kevin Owens is good. Um, even Dolph Ziggler Showboat is pretty decent. And um, don't sleep on your gold dust. Your gold, gold dust is, like, people don't realize there's certain superstars that are in here that have legacies. And even though they might not be the greatest, like, I'm what I'm saying about gold dust is he isn't someone that's going to start, like, two-turn people. But he'll he's a, do, a decent four- to five-turn person. Person that's got enough health that he'll hold out to get his moves and deliver uh, deliver efficiently for you. So that's the way I'm lo uh, I'm looking at. It. There's different ways to play this game. There's different ways to enjoy it. There's different ways to grind. So that's basically all I wanted to cover in this one for you. Know your superstars when you're doing free to play. Do to uh, build up the 12k premium chips, and then you should be on your way. And just keep on doing that over and over and over. And while you're doing that, all your other resources are stockpiling, and and you're able to save up, and you're basically able to get the job done. So that's basically it. And look out forward to more content in the future. I just want to help you, everybody out. Hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and as well as leave a like if you found this useful. And look forward to more content for WWE Champions. I am Zeke 410, leader of A Lock Kingdom, and this is 444 Life. Thank you again. Appreciate you. Stay tuned for more content. Peace out.